What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Unique Speaks, talking about what I'm talking about, because that's what your girl is all about. It's, it's your girl, Unique Speaks, talking about what I'm talking about. Unique Speaks, talking about what I'm talking about. It's your girl, Unique Speaks, talking about what I'm talking about, because it's what your girl is all about. Hey everybody, welcome back to Unique Speaks. Welcome back to my channel. I thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't forget to like this video if you like it and comment down below because I love to talk. And if you're down with the get down, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know next time I upload a video, okay? So this video is about how I deal with drama. <laughs> so... Huh. So, um, drama and me don't get along very well. Um, I've, I've been like that most of my life. Um, I'm not a talkative person when it comes to drama. Um, if I have something to do with it, I'm the first person that likes to clear my name up. Um, clearing my name up doesn't always solve the issue sometimes because people are people and it took me to you know go through the stages of growing in this now in my life you know going to therapy and, and seeing someone about my thoughts uh, are very helpful to find out that I don't really need to explain myself to nobody um I have realized that a lot of people will come up with their own idea about you no matter what you do um, so this being positive and knowing that you are rare, knowing that you are different, knowing that you are who you are. And if you're trying to do better and, and do better in your life, like who can question that and who should put you against, you know, the situation hard enough where you have to explain yourself? Why, why would somebody do that when you know your truth and you know oh. what you're doing? So one thing I can say that, uh, with drama and when it comes my way, I tend to shut down. Um, so being quiet and, and, and just listening to what's happening, that's just how I'm gathering. And in my head, as I'm I'm hearing about the drama, I'm I'm in my head really trying to decipher how I'm going to handle the situation. Um, especially, like I say, when somebody just coming at me mad, that's one thing. But if you coming at me and bringing some information to me and I'm involved in something, it really just distracts me. It takes me outside of my character a little bit. I really don't know how to react. I... I, I cry. I just get really emotional because, you know, I'm, I feel like that everything that you I try to do is intentional, meaning being an intentional friend, um, being an intentional helper, a supporter to you or whatever. And so when my name gets twisted up and stuff, you know, it, it, it I don't handle it very well um, because I feel like if if you have some reservations about me or something i believe that that person should come to me you know don't put nothing out there about me if you don't really know what you're talking about because you're really making a fool of yourself um and then for me to follow it up and try to defend myself makes me even more the fool because i know my truth i know where i stand i know who i am i know who i am in christ like why am i tripping about the drama so before, I used to go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, like I said, always trying to explain myself or trying to clear my name or something. But now, I notice that I'm handling it just a little bit different. Um, um, I'm not a fighter at heart, but I defend myself. But when it comes to words, I'm not finna come for you. Um, that's just not gonna be ever me, me. Because words, now, they roll off of me. They, they they affect me in a lot of different ways, but I, I guess you could just say I'm just learning how not to let it affect me in a way where I can't keep moving forward. It may catch me off guard and I take me a couple hours to get myself back together because, you know, nobody, nobody wants to deal with trying to clear their name or protect their character or whatever like that. And, you know, don't want anybody to take things out of context when you know that's not what you're trying to do. But I'm just learning that people find satisfaction <laughs> in seeing other people miserable. And that goes along with that saying, you know, miserable people loves a party with miserable people. Like, I, you know, misery loves company. I've, I've, I think I've heard it so many different ways. But however, <laughs> I'm not, I'm just not a person that you want to bring a lot of drama to because I'm probably not going to react the way you want me to because now I just know who I am 
And I probably didn't know who I was before. And a lot of people, I lost a lot of friends because I realized who I was, how gullible I could have been and how and how I allowed people to take advantage of me. So, yeah, I have found ways to be a different person. And a lot of people don't like that because they can't control my emotions anymore. So, with that being said, now, how I handle drama, I let the drama handle itself. <laughs> because... If I know, like I said, if I know who I am and I know what part I play in something, I'm not going to be offended. I'm not going to be hurt. Why should I? A lot of people deal with themselves first before they know who they want to tag along with them. You know, they got to have a motive. They got to have intentions on what they're trying to accomplish. And uh, doing that, they got to use everything they can come up with the book with to make it make sense. And a lot of people don't realize that when they're doing those things, like including other people and stuff that they don't really know nothing about, it really hurts them. But then I had to come there to realize that people don't care about who they hurt. Because if they care, then they'll care about the people that are really close to them. And when you have a person um, that comes from the outside that is not close to you, you really don't care how they feel it or what it's going to do or damage in their life. So with that being said, I can't chase behind everybody who have a thought or inkling about what they think they know about me you hey i have a channel here i'm very transparent i'll talk about what i'm talking about i'll talk about what i want to talk about and i'm gonna share what i want to share and if anybody asks me a question you know if i want to address it then i'll address it but i also know that i don't have to i'm not obligated and it, it it don't it don't it don't make me a better person it don't make me a bad person it because i don't want to address something or i don't want to handle it the way you want me to handle it. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm content in knowing that I'm not the only person that needs help in knowing that you not, gotta know who you are first. And that's the reason why drama don't affect me anymore. And drama shouldn't affect anybody anymore, especially when somebody is talking about something they don't know what they're talking about. I'm, I can only, when I say Unique Speaks is talking about what she's talking about, because that's what I'm talking about, because that's what I'm talking about me. I'm talking about what I go through. I'm talking about what I've been through, my experiences, what I'm going through now, what I'm facing now, and what I, my goals are, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. I can't come on here and create no platform to talk about somebody else. What is that going to do for me? What is that going to do for me? You know what I'm saying? We got so many T channels out here that got something to say about somebody else's channel and don't know nothing about them. And that's the same thing that happens in real life, social media or, you know, um, just on your job and your family. Let some tr crazy something happen in your family. Everybody looking crazy, trying to figure it out, coming up with their own assumptions instead of just doing your research. Come to the person, talk to them. Get the information that you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be sitting waiting, um, you know, to conjure up something next day. You know, you you looking like a fool. You looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I never understood what the Bible was saying about guarding your heart until I learned how I have to protect myself, protect my peace, guard my heart with people. You can't give everybody your heart. You can't give everybody the opportunity to hurt you. You understand what I'm saying? And even when you've given that opportunity, because you didn't know what was going to happen with it when you did it, you know what I'm saying? You got to know who you are again. Remind yourself who you are and who you who who, who got a heaven to hell to put you in. Who paying your bills? Who waking you up in the morning? Who? Who? <laughs> and I'm just making this video for myself as well to remind myself, man, people don't care about who they affect when they are going through their own misery. No matter what it is. And I feel sorry for them because it, it, it takes you to utilize my name or somebody else's name or somebody else's situation and, 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 and make it your own to make it make sense to you so you can lead with it. You know, and, and when people don't know, they going to listen like what? Like for real? Like what? Girl, what? I can <laughs> that's exactly what's going to happen when people, you know, you know, come with some news that you ain't know nothing about. People going to jump on that thing to give you all the attention that you need. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. but hey i understand it now i get it it's i get it i can't do nothing about it so why i'm gonna sit here and be miserable about it why i'm gonna be sitting here in my feelings about it so drama take care of yourself because i'm taking care of me and people out there who are watching me just continue to guard your heart and what that means just know who you are first don't 
don't allow people to put labels on you first and then you all going crazy trying to figure out what did I do wrong. Know who you are first. Know what your intentions are before you do things. Whether it is talking about somebody or helping somebody, supporting somebody. If you feel that the way that you're trying to do it is going to hurt somebody, then don't do it. You know, think about yourself. Think about how you're going to look at it. Think about your own character that's being, being torn apart by your actions. You know what I'm saying? These are things that I think about. You know what I'm saying? What can somebody do with this, you know, before I do it? Hmm. I know out of God, God first now, you know, like, God, is this what you want me to do? Is, is Do you want me to help this family? Do you want me to help this person? I need to know, you know, and the only way that I'm going to know is if I got to go to God because only God knows. Nothing catches him by surprise. So I have to keep myself wrapped up in him, keep myself wrapped up, you know, in the spirit. Um, I'm still learning how to apply myself to reading his word every day, you know, um, so I can get through these dramafied obstacles that happens in life that you can't do nothing about. Like, you can't create that stuff. You can't make that stuff up. But when it comes, you just hope you're ready. Stay ready even when you don't have to be ready. You know what I'm saying? And I just thank God that, you know, that I've been on this journey of fixing Charlene and fixing my ways and, and lining my ways up with Christ that, you know, I'm evolving and it feels good. And I'm not going to allow certain things to take me out of my character or to pull me back. I don't, I'm no, I know who I am. I still know. And I'm confident and I'm maneuver the way that I need to maneuver so people can understand it. That's just Charlene. You know what I'm saying? So if you really want to know me, stay, stay tuned, stay connected, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So, you know, next time I upload a video, I got your back. Just like you got mine. Stay blessed. <laughs> your girl you need speak talking about what i'm talking about it's your girl you need speak talking about what i'm talking about because it's what your girl is all about it's your girl